Welcome back to another episode of EDC with me, and today we are talking about my warmest and best winter jacket. Now for anyone who's a subscriber to my channel, you can see recently I've kind of delved into a few jacket reviews. Uh, this is another thing I'm pretty passionate about when it comes to uh, everyday carry. That's kind of my main bread and butter for this channel. But in the winter time, jackets become uh, a big part of my everyday carry. What I mean by that is many jackets have different types of pockets and they come in handy and they definitely affect your everyday carry or your EDC. So yeah, like I said, today is my favorite jacket. This is the Filson Mackinac Double Cruiser in Mackinac wool. There's been quite a few videos out about this jacket. There's probably not a whole lot I can add to the jacket, uh, but if you're a subscriber uh, and you value my insight on some of these products, then thank you and welcome. So yeah, let's delve right in. This is by far my warmest jacket. It is made out of 100% wool. Uh, I'll kind of go over the outside and we'll dive into the inside per usual. Uh, it's got side pockets in addition to the five pockets in the front here. So I guess that makes seven pockets in total. These are meant for your hands. There's no lining in this jacket of any kind. It's really just meant, or it's really just all, like I said, 100% wool. The inside of these pockets are all wool as well. I will tell you when your hands are cold, and you go into these pockets, even without gloves, they warm up almost immediately. And that's pretty incredible. That's that's something you definitely uh, want in your jacket. There's been many times when I've been out on walks and I have to mess with my phone or maybe something in my pocket and gloves quickly become a nuisance. Uh, especially if you're a hunter. A lot of times you can't find a decent pair of gloves that will allow you to still shoot uh, with the accuracy you may want. So this is a great option. You just keep your hands warm, use them when you when you need to, right? Uh, bottom pockets, just pouches, pretty large. I've got gloves in here now, uh, some minus 33 all wool, merino wool gloves. Great for baseliner or great just to have as a backup on you. They don't take up much space. Filson does single buttons on all their pockets. Uh, they're done very well. They've got a different material on the inside of the pocket flap, but the pocket then itself is fully wool lined. Uh, there is two more pockets here. You can kind of see this line going across. This is what makes this the double Mackinac wool cruiser. There's actually a, and you can see it here, it's almost like uh, you take the regular Mackinac Cruiser and you were to add a tank top to it. So what I mean is it covers the sleeves completely. So I've doubled up on the sleeves here for wool, which is very warm, keeps the wind out great in the arms, upper back and chest. And then uh, you can see the pockets actually coordinate with that top piece of material as well, instead of doing more, more flaps, it's pretty smart. Uh, there's a little bit of an admin pouch here with four very small pockets. You can fit pens or pen flashlights, not much else. Pocket knives don't really go in there. You can put field notes in here if you choose to. Pretty handy thing to have. Uh, this other pocket, I think I've just got, got my receipt. Uh, and a lighter, it looks like. I actually got this uh, secondhand. Uh, for an extremely good price. Uh, the price I paid on this is worth it times 30. Uh, that's how good of a deal I got on it. Um, if you are in the market, this is a 80s, I think the year mid 80s uh, uh, version, uh, but anything from the mid 90s and back seems to be uh, some of the better quality from what I'm reading anyways. I can't speak to that per se, but what I will say is this particular garment uh, is in immaculate condition and I, based on the tags, which I'll show you here, 
Uh, I, I presume it's 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 from the 80s, uh, but this you could buy this off a shelf, and I I wouldn't have second guessed it. There's only two pieces of damage on it. Uh, uh, paint on the buttons. All the buttons have been painted green. Uh, if you can't tell, this is their forest green or forest ranger green. And then on the inside of the back map pocket, uh, there's a little bit of fraying, uh, which I assume uh, came from getting in and out of vehicles or what may have you, but you can't tell when the, when the packets, when the pockets closed. This is called a map pack and it goes across the whole back, uh, which is great. Uh, and it would make sense to put maps back there. They should stay relatively dry. When I read a little bit of the history on the jacket, it sounds to me like these were issued to surveyors uh, in the early 1900s, uh, if memory serves me right. And those surveyors would spend maybe up to a week in the wilderness. And they had to have some pretty sizable, uh, useful maps uh, that they carry on them, uh, and then obviously they needed to stay warm as well, uh, which was a big part of this jacket's lineage. It's these Mackinac wool uh, used to be made into blankets. Those blankets were quite warm. Someone did the quick math, turned them into jackets, uh, probably in the military, I believe, was the initial use. Don't quote me on all this. It's been a while. Uh, the other thing on this jacket that's really incredible is this collar. Now, the collar itself goes up quite high, uh, just to the top of the back of my back of my skull. On the sides here, it uh, covers pretty close up to my mouth. It would be nice. Uh, you can button it more, obviously. It would be nice if they did like a storm flap here, that would actually cover your face. Um, but what I will say is this collar does make a huge difference. I've been out and it's been just a little too cold or the wind's kind of getting at the back of my head and this collar actually did make quite a big difference. So uh, the buttons, pretty standard. I like a button. A button can be fixed in the field. There's no zipper on this. Like I said, it's unlined, it's all wool. Uh, I did have to re-thread the middle button, the button that probably gets the most wear and tear. Uh, it was fine, I was able to do it. I am no seamstress uh, and or tailor, and I was able to address the issue, no problem. Again, hence why I like buttons. Button and zipper would be even better. Uh, inside of the jacket, zero pockets. You may or may not like that. There is room to line the jacket with something if you wanted to, but the wool on wool is really ideal. I've been in some pretty wet snow and the snow did eventually accumulate on me and cause the outside of the jacket to get wet. Uh, but for the most part, I was able to shake it off, brush it off. At no point did it get anywhere through, I don't know that it even got through a single layer on here, let alone the double. When you include these pockets, I mean, you've got double, triple, it's it's very well insulated. Uh, buttons on the arms too, I should mention. Just one, one, one button, plenty of room though. Uh, I have had, I've had some gloves that are kind of tight fitting or mittens. I, I didn't actually unbutton it. If I would have unbuttoned it, it probably would have made all the difference. There's an extra button on the inside here, of course, as you do, in case you lose one of these. And then, like I mentioned, the inside, pretty plain Jane. It's all wool, wool in the arms. It's a black wool, uh, but it's all wool. No, no lining, no cotton. Uh, this is why it's my favorite jacket. It's, I know what to expect when it gets cold. I know that I'm not gonna sweat and then get cold because the cotton on the inside, like other jackets, now becomes wet, and then I start to lose heat. This thing keeps me warm in all conditions. Here's my tag information, it's a size 44. Got the all wool image here. Again, I did some research based on the tag, based on the all wool symbol here. I believe this is an 80s model. 
Uh, it's a size 44, which would be probably a large, not quite an extra large. Uh, 45, 46 would be a little bit better for me, but I got way too good of a deal. So I'm gonna take it and when I wear it, it makes me look a little slimmer, that's fine. Uh, I can't put too many layers on underneath, but I don't really need to, so it's a win-win-win. Matter of fact, I'm quite warm while I'm in here. Uh, the jacket itself weighs about five pounds, maybe five and a half pounds. So you definitely do feel it. It is a weight uh, that you are bringing with you. It's distributed quite well when you wear it just as a jacket. But yeah, this is my number one jacket that I own. I've got more coats, jackets that I'll be doing reviews on, explain what I like about them. But again, this is my by far my favorite jacket that I own, my warmest jacket that I own. And if everything really hit the fan, this is the jacket I would bring with me. So thank you again. Please leave comments. If you like, please like. I do these videos uh, just to create awareness around products. Uh, I'm not sponsored by anybody. I just want to do reviews so people know what they're getting into. And hopefully this answers any questions you may have. Thanks again.